Hi, I'm Phil Dooley from EFTA, and today we're looking at one of our demonstrations from Fusion Expo. It's a bit of a puzzle for you. What does this have to do with Fusion research? So the piece of equipment is this. It's a big barrel with a hole in the front, and the back end is fabric. It's soft and elasticized, so when I pull it out, it springs back, shooting some air out through the hole in the front. So let's have a look at how this works. Okay, let her rip. Ooh, that's pretty strong actually. Wow, it's got some power. Still got lots of power and it feels like it's about the same size. It's not diffusing. I, I would have thought it would be sort of a big diffuse puff. Ooh by now, but it's still coming. Okay, it's amazing that it's staying in quite a small area, it's not diffusing into a big puff of gas, but we can't really see what's going on because air's invisible. So maybe we can work out a way to make it more visible. So the way that we can make air visible is with some smoke. We've got a smoke machine here, so we're going to put some smoke in the barrel and see what things look like then. So the smoke will be sucked up through this tube when I pull back the membrane. Okay, let's get some smoke into this machine. Suck it in and whoa, it's forming a, a smoke ring basically. So now you can see how this relates to fusion research because we're forming perfect donut shapes or toruses, the same as the torus which we contain the, the plasma in for fusion research. So the Torus shapes created by this machine are actually quite a different mechanism to what goes on inside jet. They're created by air pressure, whereas in jet we use magnetic fields. So instead of hydrodynamics, it's magnetohydrodynamics. Um, but uh, this shape is a natural geometric shape. It's very stable. It occurs in a lot of places in nature, smoke rings and fusion reactors, but also bubbles sometimes form that vortex shape. These things can be found all over the place. Mmm, toroidal.